Hey guys, welcome to another video. So today I'm going to throw something out of the window. Like cats running after each other. If you watch the tips and tricks on Skywars video, then you'll know that um, I did tips and tricks on Skywars. Oh, it's the guineas. The guineas and the things are around. So, uh, it, uh, I'm, so on this, I am doing video. So the last video I talked about a bunch of tips and tricks slash rules or whatever that you should follow if you want to win. But now, in this video, I'm going into much deeper detail on some of these things. And I will do that if you give me the chance. Basically this one, this video is more about strategy and less about just basic rules you should follow. This is more about tactics. So basically I, my first tactic I want to discuss is chest loot. Basically, in my opinion, one of the first tactics you need to do is grab the chest loot first. Make sure you don't grab anything you've already gotten, because that's not good. <laughs> it, because, so try and remember what you've got. Once you've done that, there are thir certain key orders to mine. Now, last time I just told you to mine ores. But obviously, but this time I need to tell you some things about this. First of all, you should not mine every ore on the island because you are never going to get anywhere with this. So basically, first of all, I'm going to say what ores you should mine. You very, very much should mine these diamond ores because these ores give you incredibly good stuff, diamond stuff. The an ore that is more optional is that ore. You can use it, but it is not really needed, and, and if you want to have speed, you shouldn't do that. The, the third ore you should mine, another ore you definitely should mine, is the redstone ore mine. I would suggest, when playing, that you always mine a, a, any on your island that you find. These emerald ores should also be mine, because they can give you literally enchanted diamond weapons and, and other uh, enchanted diamond items. The gold and iron ones ores should be avoided, except if if you're missing arrows or something that they can give. But in most cases, but I don't even think that you there's really any reason at all to use the iron the, the gold ores because. Boom boxes are good, but you shouldn't mind too many. Also, only mind five of these red stars because it because you can only have five extra hearts. So that's the main strategy for islands. Now, as I've s I, I I really don't know if there's any other strategies I could tell you. Uh, actually, there are some, but the, they're all kind of PvP strategies. And really, I don't know how you play or how you roll. It's like, are you kidding me? I've, that was so stupid. I just jumped into the void. As I've said before, you should walk while bridging, not run. Because when walking, you, you like, so basically, when you're running, you can be going like, Boop, boop, boop. But if you miss one block, you go. Vroom. That's that's so weird. But if you're walking, you're just. Uh, I I need to be able to actually walk to illustrate this. You 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 have a lot more. Uh, you have a little bit more time to improve to uh, catch your mistake. While well, if you're running, you have like no time to catch your mistake. So practically, if you make even one mistake, then you're falling. And unless you have an e, an e pearl, then you're gonna die. I do think that for those quick reacting players, there's enough time to throw an EP. 
another thing I should probably state is whatever you do, do not get onto an, the edge of a main island. Doing that is is practically a death sentence. Even if you have more gear, your opponent can knock you off in moments, especially if they have knockback Nemo, uh, which I should probably talk about. If you have one, use it. It is if you, in certain situations it is better than a diamond sword. If you have decent armor, you can even take on people who have full diamond armor. You just need to ha make sure you have some good armor. Because you're only going to withstand a few hits of that diamond sword before you die. Um. But that's. Anyway, that's not all. The, uh, if you, the optimum time, I think, to start approaching the chest is about 30 seconds. Bruh, I already have a diamond chest plate. Dude. Looks like someone ignored all these ores, which you should not do. These ores are super valuable, or at least they can be. Sometimes you will get duplicate, duplicate items, and that's not very fun, is it? But look at that. I've already got full diamond armor. And a diamond sword. Also, I'm going to just throw this out here. Out here, don't use that fire sword. It is almost entirely useless. Also, be I, I'm gonna also throw this out there. Be very, very careful in approaching other players, because you don't know how ridiculously well geared they could be. So, one thing I would suggest is using the shield. Itself, I mean, the the chest itself is a vision shield. Why am I even scared of this player? I'm more scared of this other player. Okay, this guy. Man, I do not. There's one thing I really lack that I really could use. Knowledge of how to combo. I don't know how to do it. And I keep running into these people who are like, oh, so you have good weapons? Well, guess what? I'm gonna knock you into the air. And then by using math, it's harder for you to hit me than for me to hit you. Therefore, you get knocked back and you can't even fight back half the time. So you only get like half the hits in, maybe even only a quarter. And so I win. Yeah. Combo being so P and I can't do it. I just don't know how. That's one major thing I like. But but if you can combo, use it because you can do some crazy things. Because in Skywars you can just combo them right off the island. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. I think that's everything I had planned. Bye!